Hey everybody, Guilty here. If you have been around the channel in the last couple of weeks, you have undoubtedly seen a couple of uploads regarding my new project, Ninja Gaiden Hack, where I have demonstrated that Ninja Gaiden 2004 and Ninja Gaiden Black on the original Xbox can be modded. Initially, I found the challenge of modding these games daunting and concluded at the time that it may even be impossible. In mid-October, when recording the video Exploring Ninja Gaiden Black's Sprites, all we could do was browse and view the in-game textures using specific applications. But in the time since, I have discovered that we can do much more than that. Yes, we can go even further beyond. First, we must lay some groundwork. Our environment includes a soft-modded original Xbox, an FTP program such as FileZilla, a hex editor such as HXD, an AFS container viewer such as AFS Explorer or Ninja Toolbox, Greed Explorer, Photoshop and or GIMP, network cables, and a little imagination. With our Xbox powered on and connected to our PC, either via home network using DHCP or to a switch using static address assignments, we begin by exploring NGB's contents using FileZilla. This is assuming you have ripped the game to your Xbox's hard drive. It probably goes without saying that, while you can pull content directly from the game disc, something I myself did in the beginning of these experiments, you will be unable to push the data back to the game in that state. There are resources available online that can guide you to the right hardware when upgrading your Xbox's hard drive, which you'll need to accomplish to accommodate NGO4's and or NGB's total file size of 5.84 gigabytes. In our FTP program, we dive into NGB's folder and discover dozens of AFS files. Think of AFS as a container that holds any number and any type of files therein. NGB's default.xbe and load image files reference these containers when booting the game, so their presence is vital. Additionally, the names of the files the AFS containers hold are also listed in hex data. So for the sake of simplicity, we will not change any file names during the course of our experiments. Our priority is changing their contents. The direction Team Ninja took when naming NGB's files is, for the most part, coherent, but there may still be some guesswork behind what it is you're pulling to your PC. You have the obvious Zeppelin and Church, and Tyron is apparently split between A and B. A little googling shows that Ciro is Japanese for waterway. These are the textures for the moat around Zarkin, and character textures are easy to identify as well. Aruma for Alma, Firao for Jotunfrau, and a little more googling shows that Kage is Japanese for shadow or shade. These are the different shadow fiends we encounter throughout the game. Here's a fun fact too. The berserkers we know and love are contained in the Titan AFS file, and the electric and fireworms are in the Unagi AFS file. Getting back on track, for the crux of this video, we will use chr underscore Ryu A. This is the AFS file that contains Ryu's Shinobi Suzoku costume, what we affectionately will call his pajamas. After we pull a copy of this container to our PC, we will use one of our AFS Explorer programs to open it and view its contents. What we have are two files, both .kmd, Ryu underscore A and R underscore Rye A. Opening the files in HXD, we are greeted with quite a mess, but this is where stagnation became momentum. It was in such a file that I scrolled down a number of rows, or offsets, and discovered there was more than one file header. The .kmd knew it was a KMD only because A, its file extension said so, and B, its header also said so. But there was also an XPR header, which I knew was an image file header. I deleted all the hex data from the first byte all the way up to that XPR header, saved, then changed the file extension to match the new header, .xpr. Using Greed Explorer, I located the new file 
and laid out before me were the 2D textures. Though cause for celebration, this was not the end. We had gotten this far before when using Texture Viewer. Now the challenge was extracting these textures so we could edit them. Thankfully, Greed Explorer has such a tool baked in. You can extract a texture and save it as a DDS or TGA. TGA is Photoshop friendly, as is DDS, but only if you downloaded an NVIDIA plugin. Moving over to Photoshop, we can open the image, and our limitation at this stage is our imagination. We can edit the texture now. For this demonstration, we will only change the hue of this texture, reuse trousers, to red. With our changes made, the next hurdle is to replace the texture in the file with our altered copy. Note the file name in which the texture is saved under. DXT1 is a form of compression used for RGB images. We can only replace textures with those that use the same compression type. Concerning NG04 and NGB, you will see DXT1, DXT5, if I recall a couple DXT3s, as well as P8, but that's for another video. With the compression type the original texture utilized in mind, we save our altered copy using that same compression style. We also err on the side of caution by using the compression style with transparency bits and we check MIP mapping. Back in Greed Explorer, we select our texture and choose Replace. We find our altered copy and, sure enough, the program sees them as similar. The copy overwrites the original and we have now altered the XPR. To inject our changes into the game, our ultimate goal, we must now retrace our steps. First, we turn our XPR back into KMD by extracting what we erased earlier from the backup HXD graciously generated automatically and paste it in front of our XPR header. With the hex data back to its original state, we save the file and change the extension back to KMD. Next, we load up our AFS container and populate it with our edited files. Using AFS Explorer, we open the AFS, select the files we want to supplant, find our altered copies, and import them. To finalize our changes, we update the AFS. At this point, you simply drag your altered AFS to your FTP application and overwrite the original AFS. Once the transfer is finished, you must clear your Xbox's cache, either at the Xbox or in your FTP application. When finished, load up Ninja Gaiden and see the results for yourself. Over time, this process has become a little simpler only because my understanding of it all has developed. Unfortunately, the tediousness of it and the length of time it takes to verify your changes even took effect properly cannot be reduced. The following is a quick inversion edit of the level 1 Lunar recorded in real time to demonstrate how long even the simplest of experiments can be.
To review this crash course on modifying NGO4 and NGV's in-game textures, you must have a soft modded Xbox and a small collection of programs to access, extract, edit, and import. But that is not all we are limited to. The goal of Project Ninja Gaiden Hack is to not only modify the textures, but also replace the in-game music and sound effects. I demonstrate such by replacing Ryu's death cry with Donald Duck's KO sound effect from Kingdom Hearts. And Mirai's battle music with music from Dead or Alive Ultimate. as well as making changes to in-game text, such as the chapter introductory screens. Such methods will be covered in a future video. My next challenge is to ascertain how to edit the in-game text used for item descriptions and dialogue subtitles, as well as refining the manner in which I edit in-game sprites, which exclusively uses the aforementioned P8 image compression, a different scheme than DXT. For fun, I will also explore making Ryu's health bar and Ninpo gauge transparent. There was a lot of fun to be had in this undertaking, and I hope you are as excited as I am for what's in store for the Ninja Gaiden community. Thank you for watching, and remember, like, subscribe, go outside.